shape. Okay, shape was another thing that I had problems with because I saw in my early days of painting, I saw a tree and I saw the house and I saw the mountain. I didn't see that the tree and the mountain and the house may be one shape. See, and, but in abstracts, we have it a little bit easier. We make our own shapes. You know, and shapes was, was really, as they say, really hard. So what I would do is I took a notebook and when I found a shape I liked, I would draw it in the notebook because I wasn't really good at thinking them up. So I had a whole notebook of shapes and it made it a lot easier for me when I was doing my abstracts because I'd say, oh my gosh, what am I going to do here? I'd flip flip my, oh, I like that shape. That'll fit perfect. So look at that. I mean, when you're out, look at shapes. When you're looking through magazines, look at shapes. Find these shapes that really turn you on. And you will find that there are shapes that you like and that you use all the time. And you'll also find that you're either an organic painter or you are a, a geometric painter. Now, I was, I'm a, a master gardener. And I assumed that I would be an organic painter. I can't do it to save my life. You know, I am a geometric painter. It blew me out of the water. 